Alrighty, alrighty. So, today. So for today, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing how to launch a nuke in Fallout 76, which is a bit of a tough task if you're beginning off as a new player, and um, it's, it's most definitely not the easiest thing. And, uh, okay, no, we're not doing this this time. We're not. Alright, so, chat, for this one, we're gonna be doing something a little bit special. We're gonna let you guys choose what we're gonna do. Um, with our very first selection, you can choose from one of the three things. Actually, there are, there, there's four, but I'm just gonna make you choose from one of the three. So, here are the three options. There are three different builds right here. We can do the automatic axe slash chainsaw build. So, this is, this is for the chainsaw and axe. I don't like running this one for specifically this mission, so probably not a great option. It is doable, but it's not a great option. Another really good option is the cold shoulder shoulder I like I like to call it that I don't know why um, anyway this one is the shotgun this one is pretty pretty good I'd say so really really good and then the last one is the heavy gunner build which is for just all heavy guns in general here here's the thing though if we do the auto axe we we can only choose from the chainsaw the auto axe the, the it's just an axe or the chainsaw if we do the cold shoulder it's literally just one shotgun there's nothing there, there's no other guns to choose from in this category it's just the shotgun if we do a heavy gunner there's a multiple heavy guns to choose from so chat i'm gonna let you guys choose what build should we use for the how to launch a nuke tutorial? Uh, you can just, if you, you, you just type in one, two, or three. One would be auto axe slash chainsaw. Two would be the cold shoulder. Three would be heavy gunner. Heavy gunner is going to allow me to take more, more damage and kill quicker. Cold shoulder is going to allow me to move around quicker and kill pretty quick. Chainsaw is going to allow me to move semi-ish quick, but do lots of damage. It's all about what you guys would rather want to see. Personally, I think that the Heavy Gunners would probably be the best. But the Cold Shoulder is pretty good too. The Auto Axe is just for messing around really, but it's still, it's still a good option. But yeah, chat, just put one, two, or three for which one. What? Number four. Okay, I did say there was a fourth. Okay, so the, if there was a fourth option, which there is technically, um, there is the bloody, bloody assault rifle build. So, but I'm not spending. I'm not spending. F was it five dollars? <laughs> I'm not spending my my five dollars on doing that. So it's it's just one two. Or three. You have melee build, shotgun build, and heavy guns. Which one of those three things would you rather see? In my first stream, we did the uh, we we did the chainsaw. You saw a little bit earlier in that small little snippet stream where I kind of had to like stop filming. That that was the cold shoulder. That was the that was that build. That was the shotgun. That's the one I'm currently running. But we could always switch it up. Just put one, two, or three. Because there, there's more options to choose from. Except for... It, it, okay, so if you choose the heavy gunner, you get you get more options to choose from. You can choose which gun I get to use. If you choose the cold shoulder, I'm stuck using just this. Just the gun. The name of the build is the gun. The auto axe slash chainsaw. You can choose the chainsaw or the auto axe. There's not many options when it comes to one and two, but number three has more options. <sighs> Can 
you at least answer my question? I'm not gonna sit here saying one, one, two, or three for the next six years. We're not doing, there is no number four. There is no number four. I see one, two, and three. You know what? Number four is close to number three. We're doing number three. We're doing number three. Since you won't make up your mind, we're going to do number three. There is no option for number five. If there, I don't think there ever was an, an option for number five. Okay, let's put put away the Zaza weapons. All right, so since we're going with the heavy gunner build, we have a certain set of weapons that we can use. But I really don't feel like taking. You know what? We're going to take this. And we're going to take... Hold up, we're going to find it first. Yeah, here it is. Okay. We're going to take this. Hold up. Let's check out what we got here. That's not correct. We're going to remove that and we're going to add in... Okay, yeah, that looks right. Nerd Rage power, power user stabilized. And power armor, heavy guns, ignore and do 50%. Oh, uh, yeah, this seems relatively correct so far, I'm assuming. Except for what we could do, just to make it a little bit more fun. can remove two from intelligence, put in perception, and do concentrated fire. Okay, yeah, that, that'll keep this a little bit more interesting. I don't know where. There's something, there's supposed to be something important in there, but I can't remember what it was. It was a safe, that's what it was. So, yeah, uh, let me grab my ammo real quick. I'm pretty sure, yeah, here it is, Enclave. So this what? This one runs. We're not going to be using that. We're not using that. We're not using this. Not this. Not this. We need the. Uh, yeah, this. Yeesh, that takes up a lot. Okay. Um. So I haven't gotten around to using this gun. Everyone says it's really good. I personally have yet to use it. I found in the wild the bloodied version of it, and I was pretty stoked to have found that. Yeah, the standard receiver is just fine. Rifled barrel? What What would that even do? That, that looks like it doesn't even help. That... Is this supposed to help it? Standard magazine, standard sight. Yeah, honestly, pretty pretty basic stuff. Okay, hold up. This this is where it looks like it starts to be better. Uh, the beam focuser and then the standard nozzle and the beam splitter. This is pretty cool, though. A little skin for it. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll try it out and um in its base form. And we'll see if it if it slaps or not. Nah. Head over to the trash can real quick. Uh, of course, we're actually going to start doing what we're supposed to be doing here in just a moment. I just want to make sure I'm prepared here. It's been a minute since I've done what we're about to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you also want to choose my power armor, I have three different sets. Sorry, four. I have four sets to choose from. Let me just set it down. There you go. I have four sets. I have the Red Rocket Ultra Sight 
XO1 and the Hellcat. The Hellcat is the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, so so is the Ultra Sight. This is also Brotherhood of Steel. This is just the Red Rocket Ranger. And then this is uh, I got I picked this up during Halloween. It's just a skin. It's it's the normal power armor doesn't look like that, but. Honestly, I'm probably just going to run the Hellcat because it's a lot better. But, yeah. We're not going to, since this is a heavy gunner build, we're not going to be doing this without power armor. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming no one's launched a nuke yet. We're going to head over to... Site Bravo. Oh, look at look at me in my power armor suit. Don't I look beautiful? I look absolutely shemexy. So we'll see if we can even do like a little boss fight. Um, we might not be able to. If if we can just do the nuke, that's fine. But doing the boss fight would be pretty cool as well. We might have to server hop because of other people doing nu uh, the nukes. But we might be able to get it first try. Nah. Unfortunate. Really, 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 really unfortunate. Really rather unfortunate. Um, well, I assume that we could just pop on over and we could do it but yeah we might have to server hop here it's okay though uh normally whenever you do it the normal way um and you do the nuke you can just like drop down into the nuclear silo and it will automatically start the quest line and it will guide you through uh but if it doesn't say that then you can't you I mean it's not like you can even like do it by yourself without the quest line showing up you physically have to have the quest line show up because it already means someone within the last three hours has already done the nuke so it's a big it's a big no-no but I mean that's why we can always server hop so it's fine and I haven't dropped the nuke in a minute so it's not going to be... We might be able to hide and seek and destroy, recover a nuclear key card. Let's see what we got here. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. No, yeah, so it would norm. Um, yeah, the miscellaneous quest, this one right here. Read the nightclub advertisement. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Bunker Buster, it's no. Too bad. Wait, hold up. What's this? The Ellis researched on a chem called a Rad Shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know about that mission. But that's not the one we're trying to do, though. You know what we could do? Since this one's out of, like, luck, unfortunately. What we could attempt to try to do... Is head... Okay, so there's three different nuclear silos in all of Appalachia or West Virginia, whatever. There's three, and uh, that's one of them that we went to. I like doing that one because it's pretty simple. I doubt it's as bad, but what we're going to do anyway is we're going to head over to this one. I only actually have, I think I have two out of the three discovered. There should be... So it should go, um, yeah, one, uh, two, and then, wait, no. 
There should be like one over here or maybe honestly Maybe I'm missing one and there's like one right here. Honestly, I don't think I've discovered that one yet. I really just like found one and then went with it. So, yeah. And we're going to ignore the quest, the sorry, the world activities that are going on. And we'll hope no one else is trying to launch a nuke right now cuz that would be unfortunate for us. We'll have to server hop again. I'm really hoping, yeah, there it is. It should be up here. Okay, um, that's, that's not what we wanted. That's, that's a Yao Guai. Okay. So I was super excited earlier today that, um, I pulled this. This is, if you don't already know, the best, um, the best perk that you can get on a gun is bloodied. Bloodied anti-armor are the best for guns, guns-wise. Now, your best melee builds are going to be bloodied. And, ah, uh, well, I can't remember what it was. Um, vampire. Vampire, that's what it was. It was vampire. Um... Yeah, you see that? You see that damage? Normally you want to get anti-armor on this, but this this works really well. I mean, you can see the damage we're dishing out. It's relatively pretty good. We're taking a lot of hits here. I unfortunately forgot to bring grenades and a couple other things. We could be dead here. Oh, never mind. If you don't already know, if you get hit with any sort of flamethrower in Fallout, you're kind of just like dead. It's just how it works. Unless you have a perk that protects you, but we could be dead here because I'm running out of stem packs. Or I'm, or I'm out already. I'm out of stem packs. Um, unfortunately, wait, hold up. I think we have the mission activated. Can't tell nothing. Talk less active. Yes, we do. Okay, yeah, there we go. That wor that works. <laughs> that that works. Thank thank God. Okay, hold up. We're just gonna head right back up the uh the elevator real quick and grab some stem packs because we're running a bloody build. Um, so we don't die. Because that that would be unfortunate. We're gonna try not to die at least once, which we shouldn't have a problem with if we have stem packs and the gun's really good. So. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that dog food too with us. Okay, I might be a little insane here, but I thought that was our storage box. Um, we're gonna spawn in our survival tent because we have Fallout first. Yeah, here we are. Okay, yeah, hold up. We're gonna grab our stem packs. Where are they? We're gonna grab like a crisp 50. Yeah, that works. And if we need a little bit more, we're gonna grab like uh, maybe like 15 of these. We're barely making it by my weight limit. I really wanna make it by my weight limit. So yeah, all right. Now, we can do the nuclear launch, like I said I was gonna do. All right. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Retog, retoggle our mission right here. This will lead us through. Find a way to get past the laser grids. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty basic.
Um. Ooh, hold up. We're gonna try to grab this. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna work. Is it the Grafton monster or something? No. Oh, thought you were alive. Sorry, good sir. Alright, so. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna need to go back to the, I'm gonna guess, the symptomatic. We're gonna have to do something with the symptomatics. I already know that. Fabricate, yeah. yeah of course. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, it's the symptomatic. I already figured that much out. Mm -hmm. So anyone new to Fallout, the symptomatic is pretty, pretty basic. You can just see it's gonna acquire my biometric data. Pretty simple. Mm-hmm. That's not good. Forgot to get back to some power armor. Oh yeah, this is the unique animation to get back inside your power armor. There's two different versions, and that's the unique one. Yeesh, this thing is insanely good. I, I've been using it, but I've been using the uh, the non. Uh, not not this version that I have. You have a flamethrower. Get away from me. And let's just say this thing hits. Nice. It hits really, really nice. And I'm liking it a lot. I've been trying out a lot of new builds. And, um... Like the cold shoulder and the auto axe. And they have been... Can I take this? Old biometric key card. Thank you. And this one... This one's been knocking it out of the park already. I mean, this is the first time I've used it, and it's it's hitting like a freight train. Truly. All right, we're gonna register our key card over here. Okay, there we go. There we go, now we're allowed in. Oh wait, yeah, it is through this room. I don't really care to loot anything, not like I really even can, so. What made me mad about doing the uh, this was... was that? Head to control room? This can be used in VATS and outside of VATS, but I'm probably just going to have to say it works really good in VATS a lot better. That's why I threw on a specific perk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically just one shots. I mean, this thing is truly insane. Uh, it's not even like one of the best ones that you can get, and still it hits really hard. Let's see how it does against an Assaultron real quick. I mean, yeah, killing... Killing so quick. Yeah, I hate doing this room. Yeah, we're just gonna use that to take care of this. We're just gonna take out all the Mr. Gusties and I'm assuming a lot of other stuff. Uh, I can't remember everything, oh yeah. A little... I, I can't remember every single name of these, but... Yeah, we're just gonna take them all out. Okay, we could be dead here.
this is a pretty fun uh, little thing to do is these little repair the pipes things. I found this was pretty fun. No, you just, you're given two minutes. Just walk up to all the pipes you can see, just press X on them. They all get repaired. Excuse my aim, the uh... It's a little hard, if I'm going to be honest, to use this gun. And I think that's one of the biggest drawbacks. we got to find the rest of these pipes. Where are they? Here's one. Okay. There you go. Should be some more. Yep. That one is repaired. Oh, I wouldn't have even seen you. I'm pretty sure you probably don't even have to repair all the pipes, just a good bit of them. If you do somehow manage to not get them all. Which, you should. Be able to get them all. There we go. Am I missing one? Oh yeah, reset the reactor, that's right. If you finish quick enough, they give you the option to reset, like already. You start reactors. Okay. There we go. And I should have to wait for the dude to come out of his pod or whatever this. Or not. I uh, guess not. Okay. I'm not going to go that way because that's going to require me to pick that lock. Nope. We have to go that way. So we have to pick the lock. All right, well, I mean, yeah, this is, um, you most definitely need to have the lock pick skill. Okay, well, I like to test the waters. What can I say? XP I mean I suppose um. yeah I'm really liking this Gatling gun truly insanely overpowered okay there we go except for our HP is not the greatest like I'm thinking about just letting myself die Actually, you know what I could do? Are we in a safe spot? Do I have starch jeans on? You will never mutate from radiation in right away and will never cure your mutation. It's what you like to see. Okay, so... We're just gonna use our... Never mind, we can't, because this dude's gonna walk inside of our place. This only increases our damage. The more we get damaged, the more powerful we become. Oh my goodness. But I like to have the extra HP, so we're gonna use our rat away. You can see it's gonna take our rads away. Wow, it's gonna take away a little too much, actually. It's gonna make our gun not as powerful. Um, so what we're gonna do... Is we should have some ramen milk, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have... Yeah, 
There we go. Alright, yeah. So, that's our HP. That's what we wanted. Should be, yep. Uh, of course. And we're only going to do more damage once we enter that, so... Can't really do too much. I wonder if we could... No. Oh, but yeah, we can just go this way. What in the world am I thinking? Okay, well, I hate whenever that happens. I can't tell if that's a glitch or what. You start turning it on the right area, like on the little, on the, uh, the sweet spot, on the lock. And instead of it being normal, it actually breaks it. So, yeah, uh, they've never fixed that problem. I don't know if that's even how it's supposed to be. I would doubt that's how it's supposed to be. So, there's just one more we got to get rid of. Yeah, there we go. Destroy the main front. Ooh, that's a tin can. We're actually going to take that. And all the reinforcements you want. So yeah, you can just walk around. You can shoot them, you can walk up, you can click on them. But you do have to get rid of every single one of them. There are a lot. If you played Fallout 4 and you got to like the star mainframe and the DLC of... Uh, Nuka World, you may remember having to collect all 30 or 36 or however many there were. This is quite similar, except for you have to destroy them. I can't remember if you have to destroy the mainframe. That might be like a little mission within some of the missions within the star galaxy area type of thing. Um, I can't recall. That was a little while ago that I did that DLC, but of course... Fallout 4 is getting a, um, a complete revamp and um, coming to PS5 for all of us who still play on, who if you play on PS4 and you really like uh, Fallout and you've been thinking of a reason to get a PS5, it's, uh, it's a really good idea that they're going to be making it. Uh, they might do the same for Fallout 76. I hope that they do. This game needs, needs a graphic update. I love the game, but it sure does need a graphic update. So, yeah, that's just a, a little visual error right there. Okay. Uh, we don't need missiles. Come on, let me break them all. Honestly, just shooting them. Yeah, there we are. Okay, well, yeah, but these guys are mad at me now, so I gotta... I wonder what this would do to a super mutant. I run West Tech a lot, so I would like to know what this would do. If you guys don't know what West Tech is, it's it's a very simple and easy concept to understand. Lots of super mutants. Super mutants give you lots of XP. Um, and you do it. It gives you lots of XP to level up especially your season pass if you're someone who doesn't feel like doing all the actual challenges but instead the you're an xp person and you want to get done levels and xp all at the same time then your best way to do it's west tech you know just grab a power armor suit actually sometimes you don't even need power armor to be honest with you no one really even uses power armor that much anymore in there i like to use power armor because i think it truly makes fallout fallout and i love power armor i really do a lot is a really good mission that's going on right now that e that eviction notice if you if you're a low level and you're striving for some for some legendary script and you need it now and you need it quick 
best way to get it is eviction notice. You're gonna have so many legendaries, you're not even gonna know what to do with them by the end of it. You can sell them. What I do. You can get the script. This guy's gonna explode. Go. Oh. I don't know why that isn't working properly, but I'm not gonna ask. Oh, that's what we needed. So we got a T60. Got about half a T60 set right here. Um. So I've been thinking about some other ideas to do uh, for some new Fallout players. I've been thinking about which of the one I want to do. Uh, if I want to do... Um, a top 10, like, best things to do or for beginners in Fallout 76, like, the top 10 tips, or if we should do the top 10 best weapons in all of 76. Uh, I'll be going over guns and weapons that I don't own and stuff that I do own. Um, I'm gonna own most of the stuff, but, I mean, you know. But before I continue, we're gonna, we're gonna need to get the damaged mainframe cores. Alright, let me in. I don't know why it's giving me so many rare animations. Is this, like, because of a perk I put in, put on or something? I, I don't know, I'm getting a lot of these. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, it makes you get in the power armor just faster, so, you know, it's whatever, I actually do need that, um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of, a lot of tips that I could talk about for low level, uh, new players, because if you played Fallout 70, no, if you played Fallout, Four, this is gonna be nothing like Fallout 4. I, it might seem like it's gonna be like Fallout 4, but it's it's just not. Repair and then find. Find and then repair. Repair and then find. I can't, oh. They really have these hidden, don't they? I remember them just like being on the shelves, so I might just repair them because that seems like it'd be the quickest option. Oh, you're still alive. My bad. Okay, well, we're just gonna get out of our power armor real quick. So, where is it again, mainframe core? So, we need to find spare mainframe cores or repair the damaged ones. I don't remember how I did it, so, um... Yeah, okay, yeah, here's our, the bland animation. It's still cool, but it's not as good as the other ones. Oh, here we go. Thought I saw one. There's another assault tron somewhere. Somewhere there's another assault tron. Uh mm, not really seeing any more of them to be honest. What's that sound? Yeah, you're going to need some more security, aren't you? Honestly, if I was if I was watching my own video, I would skip through this whole bit cuz this might this might take me a minute if I'm going to be honest. So, I mean, 
I wouldn't be that wouldn't be pissed off if someone was skipping through this whole bit of this whole section just to find out how the launch is going to happen and where it's going to happen and then you know the whole the whole thing I wouldn't be mad if someone skipped through all this because this is all just mumbo jumbo I mean I can't even remember where they all the cores are I have zero clue oh here we go I mean they really do like sneak in We're gonna, um, real quick, because this might seem like a really good idea. Addict all. There we go. I am no longer addicted to drugs. Only if that was a thing that you could take in real life, you know? To really fix all the people that are addicted to drugs, if you were just able... The puff on something that looked like an inhaler and then all of a sudden you're cured so also if you're wondering what that that notification was my some someone's buying stuff from my uh my, my camp it said something about it being like a like a plan or something i make a lot of profit uh, i mean i have ten thousand caps <laughs> that comes from a lot of my stuff that I have inside my camp. Whenever I do my top 10 uh, tips list, I can tell you guys how to get like lots of customers. You have to sell the right stuff. I'll just give you, I'll just tell you right now, you have to sell the right stuff. If you're not selling the right stuff, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna attract any customers. You also have to make it look full and like fatty, if that makes any sense. You need your place to look like it has a lot of stuff inside of it so people will be like wow that guy has a lot of stuff he's selling exactly that's what you want them to think in reality if you don't or if you do have a lot of things to sell it's always good to make it look that way personally mine looks that way and i do have a lot of things that i sell so i mean it just works out there's something like rolling around Yeah, I thought so. We need to open up the terminal. Thought there was more. Guess not. Anyway, we'll get back to searching. I don't think we need many more uh, mainframes. I think we're coming towards the end. Ah. Okay. You know, one place I didn't look because I was a little funky with it. Dude. What was I doing? I might just put timestamps uh, down if I can figure out how to do timestamps. Oh, look at that right there. Okay. Huh? 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 That ain't good. Yep, come on out. Eh, it doesn't do a lot to, um... Protectron over here. We're gonna take care of you. I picked up all those mainframes and now I can't run. Um...
Yeah, thank goodness we got it out of that quick. Alright, so we're looking at... Alright, circuitry all fixed up. I had to spend a lot of my resources just to do that though. That's why people don't do nukes every second. Is because of the fact that it takes a lot of circuitry. Which you can get back if you go to Watoga, but I mean... Or, um, yeah, yeah, the Watoga place. It's the, the red area of the map. Boom, 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 boom. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this all set up. straight down how could I forget launch silo that's right oh yeah so here it is this is our beautiful nuke this is it right here Like wondering, is that even hitting? Nope, nope, you're still alive. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, initiate the launch prep. That's uh, pretty quick. Very quick. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, initiate the launch prep. Pretty simple stuff here. So what this is going to do is it's going to activate these, uh, yeah, the Mr. Handy robots, and they're going to head on over. Not this one, though. No, we take these ones out. They're either Protectrons or Handy Robots. I can't remember. They're normally red. Yeah, here they are. Okay, little buddy. It's like... Like the main... Okay, he's kind of like spazzing out here. I don't think he's okay. I think he's got like some sort of disease going on here. You, you okay? You good? Okay. He was a little stumbly. So, okay. I'll take those hundred rounds. I don't think he's okay though. He's kind of like I can like move through him. Oh no. I really hope this isn't a um like a bugged out robot. I really hope that's not the uh, the case here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if he's okay. <laughs> I think he might be on the spectrum. Not gonna, I don't really know here. Um... I am not sure if he's supposed to do- I remember him supposed to- he's supposed to do something. Here's the nuke. By the way, you launch the nuke, uh, like, right here.
Yeah. He's most definitely supposed to do something. We're gonna see, like, I don't wanna like, mm. This is gonna be really annoying. We're gonna fast travel real quick. And we're just gonna run through the whole thing and see if that has like fixed him, like unbugged him because he's not normally supposed to be bugged. That's most, de actually, while we're up here, this is legendary Yaogwai, we're gonna take him out real quick. Cause you know, free Yaogwai. Ow, that didn't feel so nice. Oh, wow, okay, well, could just, okay, my body, <laughs> my body just went like 10 feet in the sky. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Please don't tell me he, okay, I don't know how he just got around and did that to me, but yeah, I'm a little confused how he just did that. I don't like how sometimes whenever I use my stem packs, the stem pack don't work. So, <sighs> yeah, so we're going to have to rerun through the whole, the whole stupid missile silo. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you whenever you're doing your very first nuclear launch thing. Um, because... It can be a real huge pain having to redo things. And I would hate to have to like redo all the stuff. It's really obnoxious. So hopefully yours, whenever you do yours, actually works its way it's supposed to. System armed. Uh. These guys are all lively. I might just have them damage me a little bit more so I can get the extra damage in on them like that. Except for I have the um, the auto heal ability though, so I mean, it's whatever anyway. So yeah. We came in right here, and then... I can't remember where you're supposed to, um... To go. When you enter this room. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Hopefully it's, no, it's not bugged, because we don't want to have to redo this... Whole thing all over again. Because I've already wasted all my circuitry. So... I'm really praying that this is uh, working now, because I'm going to cry. You're dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're definitely dead. But I mean, even if it takes like, what, 15 circuitry, I could just get back. No, I cannot. I'm not going to grab that ammo. Can we remove these? I don't believe so. It's this way. And the section chiefs. Alright, I'm assuming that it's working now. Because why would all these people be spawning in? Normally, there is not this many. He's dead. What? What happened to my launch chief? He's in heaven now. This is a lot of circuitry, which we might be able to use to...
It says defend the section chief one out of one. Does that mean I've defended him? Or does this mean... I don't know. Whoa. Hello. I'm a little confused. It's like making me fight lots of robots. I don't get it. Um, I think the nuclear launch is glitched or something because my launch control chief is dead. He should be alive working the uh, the machinery or whatever. He's he's dead. I mean, we're we're here. The, there's the nuke. Here's the thing we enter the, the the nuclear launch key code and then we use this to place it on the map well, I mean we're here I have no idea what She's yapping about hold up. What if we Yeah, if we do that. I don't that doesn't fix anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused here. I mean, I think that... I mean, it has to be glitched or something because... You know, Johnny over there, he's dead. You know. Not sure what happened to him. But he's dead. We are too heavy now. We're gonna have to drop something. I think we might honestly have to redo the whole the whole thing all over again, which is really taking me off because I really don't wanna have to redo the whole thing all over again. Um, I mean, I can speed through it, like speed run the whole thing, super, 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 super quick, but still, I don't like the fact that that just happened. Like, why? We're here, we're at the very end. My dude freaking died. He ain't even got no cheeks. Lebronzo's just dead on the floor. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to... That really makes me mad. That we have to do that. Why? I'm not gonna ask questions because the game just happened to bug out on me. Well, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Really, really, really unfortunate. And sad. But, um. It's okay though. It's not too big of a deal. It didn't take us very long to do that anyway, not really. And honestly, I can just speed run it. So if you honestly just want to skip through the whole thing, if you're, re if you're not watching this whenever I'm live streaming it, if you want to skip through this whole bit, I'm not going to gripe, I'm not going to yell. It's ridiculous that this just happened. And, uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to blame someone who wouldn't want to watch me go through the whole process that we just went through together all over again. Useless. So. Yeah, we're just going to speed through this whole thing as fast as we can. As fast as we heal. Oh, my gosh. I did not know that guy was right behind me. I... Okay. That's the one thing I hate about running a bloody build is such low HP. It's so much fun. But when you go up against these idiots, get on the floor. I don't really care about these guys, but I mean, when you go up against those other idiots, the Mr. Gusties, um, they make me a little angry. 
They really do. So we're gonna hurry up and do this as fast as we can. So we can just get past the very first bit. All right, so first of all, turret control, turn you off. If, I don't know if we just did, I don't think we even did. Okay. Okay, biometric scanner, gotcha. No. What? What? Yes. I don't know. I did, but it was a little, it was like an out. I did. All right, let's get in here. You don't have to get inside both of them. Pretty sure it's just the one. Oh, oh, okay. So we fell through the face of the earth. Oh, hello. So there should be a table. I don't know if the spawn is the same. It appears that it is not the same, but it should be in this room regardless. You just got to um, look around and you'll find it. It might take you a minute. That's a hundred bullets. I'm going to take that. Actually, I mean, it might not even be in this specific room. It could be in a different room, but I mean, yeah, we're, we're going to check this room. Yeah, here it is. It's not going to be too far away. So now that we got it, this will get us through to the main room. Now we're going to create. All right, there we go. Now we got those registered. Security Registration complete. All right, there we go. Also, you do have to do the entire enclave stuff to, you have to be registered as a general in the enclave to get the ability to launch nukes with or, uh, yeah. So you, you do have to be a general rank, which, you know, it give, it, the enclave gives you access to a lot of different things, honestly. Is this the control room or the, the storage? Um, it gives you access to a lot of important things so i mean if you're thinking about just being like no, no no i don't really care to do the enclave do the enclave it is going to give you a lot of important things and of course in my if i if you guys do want to see the tips and tricks and the top top 10 best weapons to use in all of fallout 76 i could just go ahead and um okay we're being shot at i'm i don't know why i did that i made the same mistake last time so Hold up, let me just take care of these guys real quick. Yeah. So, yeah, if you do want to see my top 10 tricks, the on, or not tricks, tips, what in the world is no circus? If you guys want to see that, I'll go ahead and just, you know, show you. But, I mean, there's no time like the present, I can just show you on your map. I mean, if you're playing right now, it's right here. It's the abandoned waste dump over in the mire area. You just go in there, you're gonna find some hollow tapes. Uh, I pick up every hollow tape, just in case, if you don't find the, the right one. 
and that will start the enclave. It's going to be a while until you reach the, um, the ability to have the whatchamacallits, uh, general rank. So don't expect to get general rank super quick. It might take a minute. Um, I hate assault drums. Anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and take care of all these pipes. For the second time. Oh, thought I just fi- oh, there we go. Just took a second for it to register. Okay, you're taken care of. There should be another... Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. I mean, definitely do the Enclave if you're wanting to... If you're a new player and you need to, um... And you want to be able to launch your first nuke. It's super helpful to get into those boss fights. Uh, they give you certain uh, loot pool rewards. Like the Scorch Beast Queen that gives a guaranteed prime receiver for any gun uh, in the game. Which is very, very helpful. Uh, so, you just gotta make sure you do the Enclave. Especially if you want to get the X-01 Power Armor. It is one of the most universal power armors, and it was considerably one of the best, and is the best in Fallout 4, so you can imagine it'd be pretty good in uh, Fallout 76 just as much. I use it from time to time, um, so yeah, but I like the Hellcat armor the best. I mean, I know the T-65 is the best, but I like the Hellcat. I think it looks more visually pleasing. Um, let's just get this done for the second time. Okay. We have your system integrity restored. Let's move on to the next area. Pretty sure we have to go through. Yep, yep. Okay, did not even mean to do that. Okay, and that was gonna make it work, so yeah. <laughs> why is that still a glitch? I'm so confused about why that's still a glitch. They refuse to fix the most weirdest things. It's okay, I don't know what we just got hurt by. There a uh what's hitting me? Yeah, I thought there was a turret in here. out the mainframe real quick. I think we got everything up in here. Oh, okay. And my stem packs did not register. But you know what? I was gonna, I was either gonna kill myself or I was gonna use it right away. But I didn't want to use it right away, so killing myself was the next best option. So you know what? It all worked out in the end. I really didn't care. Um, reason why I wanted to kill myself or use the right away, which I didn't have a care in the world whether which one I used. It's because I'm running a, bl a bloody build for heavy gunner, yes, but. I had my health way too far down, uh, a little too too far down, and I didn't want that. So, yeah, and this is what was melting my HP. Well, not that. 
you're gonna think you're Superman or whatever, and you're gonna do that. Actually, yeah, Superman, because of the eyes. And you're Superman 2.0. And we're gonna damage your head. Okay, are we doing any damage to you? I'm super confused here. Because I feel like a couple of my bullets aren't registering. I really hope that they were registering right there because if not might have to uh, get a new gun anyway we're pretty much almost already uh i'd say we're about halfway already um it just really ticks me off that we had to uh we had to restart come on there we go oh. yeah the accuracy even though i have the special bats perk on is still abysmal i'm pretty sure we got all the mainframe uh, up in here so that's good yep we got more honestly we could just click on it that's even more satisfying all right yeah there we go all right yeah so we were at yeah, 50. Ooh, please stop shooting at me you know i'm pretty sure there's a quicker way to Shooting it just might be the way to go. It works all the same. Now constructing additional security units. Oh, of course. More assault trons on the sewer. Well, hopefully we can destroy the mainframe before they arrive. No, they seem to already be here. Really? Just more gusties? There you go. They're all, it's all gone. We should just go straight, come over here. Yep. We're practically about 70% 70, 70 done. This is like one of the, one of the last rooms that we go. Okay, lady, do, do your triple backflip, front flip, whatever you need to do. Live your life. YOLO. Uh, just take care of these idiots. There should be like a... Never mind. I thought there was one of... Well, we still have to kill... Yeah, here you are. I hate the Tesla robot. The Tesla rifle, I'm assuming... I think it's a rifle. Got a massive buff. And, um... It made it really, really, really good. I don't know. It, it, it might have gotten a buff, or it might have just always been crazy. I just never used it. Um, hold up. We're gonna just take care of these before we get to doing that. Because... We might have to grab some more. Okay. What was that? The Saltron. Yeah, I know. I already saw ya. I already saw ya. Yeah, but this Gatling gun, it really is insane when you get the bloodied on it. Um, truly a wonder weapon. Yes, yeah, so we ran out of circuitry, but what we can do...
Okay, well this is not very good. Not very good at all. I swear, man, we picked up so much circuitry, did we not? Did we not pick up circuitry? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I remember putting in the the, the circuitry. So, uh, or get, having more, having more. I remember having more circuitry. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna chuck all these in real quick, or as many as we can. Uh, I I still can't remember all the spawn areas because there, there's just there's so many that you have to get. Uh, I mean, normally there's one right there, but I mean, they're, they hide in some pretty interesting spots. Like, I know this guy had, okay, I already looted him. This guy has circuitry. No, no, he doesn't. That's kind of funny that none of these people have circuitry on them. Okay. Did I get the circuitry from you? Okay, well... I have no idea where we can get some quick circuitry. We could probably get... What is this, copper? That's actually pretty helpful for me because I normally need copper. Military grade circuit board. Maybe it, it has been looking like I pick it up but I never actually do. Like a biometric scanner. I mean, I'm having like a steady income of it because like they keep spawning in and they keep coming over to me. Cause like, no. Well, here's two circuitry. Well, here we go. I know there's some more stuff up in here. Normally there's a couple more robots, so. I just remember having more circuitry, so it's just kind of funny to me that I don't. But, you know, it's whatever. I mean, it's not my fault that the game glitched out on me. I was not accounting for the game to glitch out and make me... have to redo the whole nuclear uh, missile silo stuff, so it's not my fault. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing things. I think they're on the other end of me, and that's what I'm hearing. So it says I need three circuitry and one damage mainframe core and some steel. I can see one of them right there. I can see it. It's right next to that oil canister, which I need oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay, that's just a flask, but yeah, here we are. Used oil can, toy car. So we now have, we should have two, two mainframes now, two. One. Two, yeah, so yeah, two. Um, but I mean, they're everywhere. There are, all of them are here. Like, all the mainframes that I need are all within this, this, this whole room. They're all here. It's just they hide them. So, like, look at that. That's some really good hiding spots. Like, right there as well. Did I grab it? Okay. Or like right there. Like, who's, who's gonna see that? Who? Or like right here, like what in the world? 
these are some insanely good hiding spots. Like, I could... Dude, I would never see that. I would have never seen that unless I was, like, looking for it. Unless I'm looking for it, I'll see it. But if I'm not looking for it, I'm not seeing that. But I want to, like, make sure there's there, there's definitely no more in this room before we, like, leave it for good. Because, like, yeah, I just, I just don't think there's any more in here. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think we got four. So. Okay, yeah, we, we got a good bit of them. Protectrons, they take a lot of, uh, a lot of ammo to kill. Surprisingly. Or like right there. Dude, these are some really nifty spots. Like, I would have put something like inside the cart, but knowing them, it's probably like under the cart. Or like the wedged in between the pallets. Or like some wacky spot. Or like wedged in between those, or maybe in the crevice. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that these, these guys might have the best the best spots i think we yeah so we just need three more we just need three i think they normally keep more than three like there, there actually are like more oh, we're gonna kill this guy what you got power relay i really gotta look out so i can find these last three. Oh, here we go here's one wait no that was not even one of them, that, that was the circuit board. These guys might have some more stuff on them to help me craft. Um, just to get this over with quicker. Nah. It's alright though, because we can, we can make another one. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Military server board. But I think there could be one. No. Just thought I'd check. But yeah, there's another one. Can I get in this thing quick? Thank you. Okay. You know, I think there might be one on this. Table, never mind. A good spot would have been for that table, but it's not meant to be then. Or like in the trash can, that would be a spot. Here's one right here. So yeah, I think I just need uh, one more, and we're uh, we're we're back whenever we uh, where we left off. And there it is. Cool. So one, two, and three. All right, so we're back where we left off. Uh, or, oh, no, there we go. There you go. Okay, yep, we're back where we left. Launch silo. So this is the nuke that we're actually launching. But it bugged out last time due to some issue. I don't, it was the, um, the, like, worker robot. It, like, bugged out. So we had to restart. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is where we're gonna launch the nuke. It's right up in this room. Actually, hold up. We might just die here because there's an assaultron shooting at us, and we're in an animation. So, we're cripple her head, or attempt to cripple her head. Okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and initiate the launch prep we're just gonna let it like run real quick
So yeah, this is the dude right here. Oh no. Okay, he he's walking weird again. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, yeah, so last time he was walking weird like this. Oh no. Oh. Oh wait, yeah, okay, it, it, it is working now. Last time the bar was not going up, the bar appears to be going up now. I mean, he's definitely frozen. I definitely think he's on the spectrum. He's definitely off of Perk 30. Bro's, what a, it, bro's on something that Sketch would be on. But you know what? It's working, so... And we only have one fusion core left, so, I mean, we're kind of screwed. If we can't do this soon, because I've been using fusion cores like crazy. That's my beautiful power armor. Okay, um... Replace the section chiefs. So I think we're getting more robots to add to our... Initiation. Right? We are... Oh, oh, um... What happened to your head? Yeah, this one's geeking out. <laughs> hey, he on something. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Superman, Homelander, chill! Um, I don't know what I said to offend you, but I'm sorry. Oh, no, we got another sped one. I don't know if this one looks different or not, but he looked goofy. They all look so goofy. All right, get get to your working stations. Get to your working stations. So there's going to be some more dudes we're going to be given. Protect and get shot at. Oh, oh you, you, you got shot at, my boy. <laughs> He's crippled now. Oh. Almost halfway on the launch prep. We can get this uh, this boy up in the sky. Do I not have any more popcorn? Just rot of popcorn. Don't touch my weird freaks. Okay. You guys have to be doing this. Yeah, it's just... You're okay, aren't you there, buddy? Oh! No, don't hurt my friend! He has one HP and he's tweaking! Get away from my friend! Okay, made him disappear. He went to heaven. Okay, well, it's almost over, so... I mean, these guys are fine. I don't know what happened to him. He He's on something. Like, you need a cup of water, my bro? Do you need water? Put one for yes, and two for I need help. Okay, yeah, he's tweaking. I don't know. I need a cup of milk. You need some milk.
Okay, well, yeah, there's more. Do the nuke. Okay, so... Here's the thing, though, whenever you're launching a nuke. If you don't already know, when you launch a nuke, you have to do these uh, these different types of quests. One, to get the, the key card, and two, to learn the codes. Everyone knows when you launch a nuke, you always have to put in like a you know like a little secret code or whatever. And if you've ever seen a movie where anyone does the nuke, so they did the same thing for this game because they wanted it to be as realistic as possible. You have to put in a series of numbers, and if you don't put them in correctly, you waste a um, a key card. But you know, as lazy as the Fallout community is, we didn't want to. Um, have to go through the trouble of doing the deciphering because there's a lot of deciphering that you have to do so we came up with the idea to do the nukacrypt.com which I'm going to pull up right now so you just got to go to your safari and go nuka so n-a right it's no, it's a U. I don't know why I said A. It's U. So it's Nuka Crypt. And what they do is now every week the codes reset. So it's different. So it gives me my uh, my cards or my, my, my numbers. Access denied. Okay. So, we're doing alpha, right? Six, three, zero, three, zero, three, zero, eight, nine, nine. All right. All right. So we now get to drop a nuke wherever we want. Now, we're going to drop our nuke. Where do we want to drop it? We can't drop a nuke over here because this is a safe spot. All the newbies are here, so we can't do that. I don't know, man. I mean, we're, fi we're finally here. Where should we drop it? Could do... Here, you know what? How about we do a boss fight? Let's look up. Where to drop a nuke for a for the, the queen? Fisher Sight Prime. All right. All right. All right. So everyone in the entire map has now been alerted that I'm about to launch a nuke. There is going to be a little, a little thing. It's I am become death or something like that, or death from above. And I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of the nuke. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna try to get away. So we have two minutes to go straight to not get blown up. <laughs> so you're gonna see the nuke land and everything, so be prepared. Will you see that? There it is. That's the nuke. It's coming. Okay, we're just outside the blast radius. We're gonna chill, like, uh... Right here. Um, I'm not sure where it is. I don't see it anymore. Wait. Is that it right there? No. We, we should see it start to, like, fly in, and then we'll see it hit. Oh my gosh, these are all about to die. Alright, here we go. One minute. 
We got one minute and 30 seconds till the new kicks. I do not think my fusion core is going to last me. And I really don't want to get ran up on by one of these, uh, these dudes, these, uh, Scorch Beast. I don't remember if you can get to see the nuke, like, fly in or if you just see it hit. It's a pretty spectacular uh, little event here, what we're about to witness. I feel like we should go further back, though. I'm a little scared. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go a bit further back. Yeah, we'll just make sure we're facing the right direction. Cause like, I did see it fly. People are in the line of sand event, no? All right, 26 seconds. All right. We should start to see it here soon. I'm gonna put away my gun. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Um, well. <laughs> so that, that is the nuke. Wow, would you look at that mushroom cloud. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that is how to launch a nuke in Fallout 76 and get the Scorched Earth event, too, to do the boss fight, which I will go ahead and do before the stream ends, which I'll get the quest completed because, you know, I'm the one who did it. Go ahead and harvest you or not. That's going to spit out some stuff I don't like. So yeah, there's already some people joining in, I'm assuming, sooner or later, there'll be some people. I'm gonna give it a second, though, for some people to join in. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it's, it's pretty simple to launch the nuke, it's just, it's kind of time consuming. But of course, you can, you can watch other videos on how to do it a lot quicker, but that's pretty much the, the biggest gist of it in how to uh and how to launch a nuke um of course you can launch it in different areas to do the different um bosses and they are adding in a new a new boss with a new nuke area of course it's only exclusive to pc players i unfortunately cannot do the new event and get to explore the new areas of the map only pc players can so uh womp womp for me but i mean still Kinda cool. This level 114 with me, and we're gonna kill the queen. Of course, it's a multiplayer game, so I'm gonna have my teammates here to help me. Or the, the other people in the lobby to help me. I'm probably gonna get railed here, though, because I'm not gonna have power armor soon. And there's like only what? There's oh my gosh! There's already six of us. There's already six of us. Wow. Okay. I thought there'd only be like two or three or four. No, all my all my buddies are over here. All right. All right. So where's the queen? Okay, so I see we're... Okay, well, unfortunately, our guns broke, so... 
we're gonna have to try to get that fixed. Okay, or not. Actually, we're just gonna get yourself killed. Yeah, the the boss the boss fights in the game are a little. Oh my gosh, we're right inside of her. We are right inside that booty. Actually, you know what? We're just trying this thing out. I um I did say I wanted to try it out for you guys and see if it's gonna be valid or not. This is, this is pretty interesting. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that actually is really good. We killed that pretty quick. Someone's using the cold shoulder. Always a useful weapon to use. Always a useful weapon. Honestly, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of digging this uh, weapon here. Kind of digging it. Fast fire rate looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not even upgraded, so... Oh, okay. Well... Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of deaths. This is, uh, this is nowhere close to an easy event, and I don't have any fusion cores, so I'm kind of just in the middle of all of it. Well, let me just kill this hermit crab real quick. Oh, wow, that's pretty good damage, surprisingly. For the hermit crab. Gonna kill it a lot quicker if we actually shoot it properly. I need to turn on numbers so I can actually see if I'm hitting critical shots or not, but let me just uh pair this. And we're gonna use this instead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to kill the, the Scorch Beast Queen. It's not a too hard an event, it's just time consuming because she has so much HP, it's unreal. I mean, she does a lot of damage, but I mean... There's a lot of us here now. And of course, you get some really good rewards. That level 411 just died right in front of me. The level 54 is staying strong over there, though. Oh my gosh. Look how much damage we're dishing out, and it's like barely affecting her. If you look at her health bar, and you can see the little bit of gray. The gray is what I'm doing. You'll see the gray when I start shooting, like a little bit of it. You'll see it sometimes even start to like build up. This is a gopher, we're gonna take him out real quick. Oh, there you go, why? The, uh, the Scorch Beast Queen is the hardest. Uh, one, I, mm, I don't know actually if it's the hardest. It's definitely a hard boss, but I don't know if it's the hardest. It's time consuming. Yeah, she, she has, she probably has the most HP, if not the Ultra Sight Titan has the most. I don't know. I mean, the bosses are all equally pretty, pretty difficult. The bosses are all pretty, pretty difficult, but that's, that's a level up. That's good. We needed that. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I mean, we stayed alive pretty long right there before we bit the dust. Okay, and we're back on in. Okay, that guy's on fire. Okay. <laughs> the guy in our team is currently on fire. We have, have her about a quarter of the way, and it's only been like, what, seven, seven minutes? We've been in here for about seven minutes already? That's a win to go. That's a win to go. That's a crawler. Actually, I did, uh, oh, okay. There were so many creatures, like, trying to kill me all at once. I hate the Scorched. They are, spe they are uh, the main, the main quest line creatures is the, is the, is the Scorched. And there's so many of them. 
uh, we spawned kind of far away from where we wanted to be, but it's okay. But I mean, yeah, I am enjoying these uh, these two heavy bloody builds that uh, I've been using. They're uh, they're pretty fun actually. Um, they hit hard. They're pretty good, considerably. It's uh, falling right there. Will they do that? We're gonna. Um, Put all of our junk away, actually. <laughs> That's more of a priority for me. Okay. Actually, we can just go ahead and switch to this and just see how much this does. Actually, no, this thing might even be better than the uh, the Gatling. I don't know, was that better? Did I kill him pretty quickly? I feel like I killed pretty quickly. The only difference is that the Gatling gun is... It, it's, oh, okay. It's easier to get ammo for. I mean, you can kill one enemy and get a hundred bullets, and you only have spent like five. So it's relatively pretty easy to get back your ammo. It's pretty chaotic this event. I mean, there's like probably like 19 of us up in here already, probably now. I'm just gonna kill this angler real quick. Oh, there was a Wendigo right behind me? Of course there was. I mean, yeah, we can check to see how many people. Never mind, there's only seven. I thought there'd be like 20 of us. Guess not. And if you're wondering why he's, like, becoming, like, that color, um, it's because they're using the cold shoulder, which is that, uh, it's a shotgun that freezes, uh, after a couple bullets of, cons like, hitting something pretty consecutively. Oh. Thank goodness someone's using that. And give it to me for free, because... I did not want to have to die again. Okay, never mind. Let's see if we can have someone revive us. Ayo, hey, level 97. Level 55. Get over here. Thank you. Be revived. Okay, we're running at it. Oh, no, we're not running at it, ammo. My gun is supposed to shoot it. Okay, that's mine. Trying to kill that scorched over there. Oh uh, yeah, I mean she's almost dead. Oh no, no, she's going up in the sky. This is not good. Yeah, honestly, the worst part about the scorched beast event is that she can fly, <laughs> which is pretty bad because it makes it relatively pretty hard to murder her. Oh, here she is. You can see the people are using the flamers or the, uh, what it, what it's called, the holy flamer. Or something like that, I can't remember. Wow, this thing obliterates. Okay, you know, I might honestly start using this then. Except for it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. It's not working. And we went down because of it. That's a Yao Guai. Hello. Okay, I don't think anyone's gonna revive me. Yeah, 160. Get over here. Help a power armor brother out. Everyone's in power armor. Come on. Help me, help me, help me. It's the level 50 again, baby. Why am I reloading? I didn't even press the reload button. Whatever. Yeah, we're dead. Scorched ant dead. 
disease mongrel dead. Where's the, uh, yeah. Wait, no. Where's the, yeah, there she is. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just a tough event because of the fact that she can spawn in so many of her fellas or whatever. Her little Scorch Beast friends. The Death Claw. See if we can get her from afar. This thing got some recoil on. It's not too bad to control. That's a mega sloth. Oh! <laughs> I just did the fent fold. Yo, why did I just fent fold right in front of bro? Oh my gosh. I did not mean to vent fold. Okay, what are you- you're already looting? The event hasn't even ended yet, my brother. But yeah, this bloody build isn't too bad for this gun. I'm enjoying it. Surprisingly. Okay, what- what is hitting me? What is hitting me? What- what- It's the cricket, the cave cricket. The cave, the cricket. Uh. The cave cricket got me. Yeah, worst part about running a bloody build in, I don't know, a nuclear radiation zone against a boss is um, having low HP. <sighs> well, I mean, she's almost dead anyway, though. Okay, where did we spawn? What? We are in a, like a hut or something? Oh, there she is. I always like to reload on this weapon. It's so interesting. All all the reloads on all the guns in Fallout have always been really interesting. But this one in particular. Oh no. So where's the queen exactly? Oh. Speak of the speak of the queen. Okay, don't... Don't hit me in particular. Don't hit me in particular. Alright. Sorry, lady, we gotta put you down. Don't focus only on me. There's a reason why there's other players in the server. Okay, and we're... Our like, what I don't like about the event is the fact that you're getting ganged up on by like a thousand different creatures all at once. Like, dude, who knew there was even a wolf? And that's an ant. There's an ant. And a legendary. Yeah, you're the legendary. Get over here. That's a Myrler Queen. Why am shredding her? I mean, Brawl kind of shooting at her, but still, I was doing a lot of damage right there. You have a rake. Or whatever that is. That's a Myrler. King. I really don't want to die again, because everything is focusing me. Like, there's other players for a reason. I've already said this. I'm actually enjoying this one a little bit more than the Gatling gun, and I was enjoying the Gatling gun. I hate the Myrler Kings. I prefer the Myrler Queens to the Kings. Oh, that just broke. We're on to this gun. Of course I can just repair it, but I mean... Oh, but we're getting railed! I'm literally just... like a rape toy. I'm quite literally a rape toy. <laughs> and I have a disease. I'm suffering from blight. Awesome. Where is it going to make me spawn now? Oh, wow. Literally... In her. 
Or shoot her pregnant belly or whatever that is. Cooch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, focus me. Dub. I'm breaking up that scoreboard. We're all on top of my... My thing. I think the hermit crap's dead. Dude, she's so close to dying. I've already done a Scorch Beast earlier today. Uh, the Scorch Beast Queen. Definitely went by a lot quicker than this one. Alright, we almost got her. We got her. But we still have to take out all of these idiots. There's so many of everything. We got 200 caps for that. That's just for the event. throw that in there just in case if I do die because I don't want someone robbing me. <sighs> There's another one. Another Scorch Beast. Can we please take that thing out before we start looting? We could be dead here. Okay, well, you know, can someone come over here and I don't know, revive the guy who's being murdered by everything? Oh, oh, okay. Please don't sniff my butt. Thank you. Thank you for being such a lovely person. Oh, or, or not. Yep, yep, okay, yep, thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, we can see our loot rewards we got now. Oh, we got a one star. Wow, not even a two. Don't you like to see it? Nah, we're just gonna collect everything. We're just gonna, we're just gonna grab everything. Cause like, what? Yeah, we're just gonna grab everything. What are you doing? Oh, he's gone. So yeah, we're gonna scrap everything. We're just gonna throw it in there. The only thing that we're not gonna scrap is the hardened mass because we actually do use it. And then for this stuff, like, so this is broken, so we're gonna hold on to that. But all this, this is all gonna go in here. Actually, we're going to remove... What are you doing? Freaking level 56. What? I think he's trying to yank it. I think bro's trying to yank... Yo, you are doing something you're not supposed to be doing. I'm just telling you that right now. You know what? Yank your crank. Get it? Because... Because he's actually yanking a crank. Eh. Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. We should probably just drop all the stuff that we don't need. So we actually do need these double barrels. We're going to keep those. But as far as we're concerned when it comes to this, we're going to drop all of these. Because we don't need it. Actually, let's just scroll down to the very bottom and we'll just sort it from the bottom. Shortcut, yeah, so we're gonna keep the short. Mm, 
Can we keep the short combat rifles? No, we cannot. Okay, yeah, so we don't need that. How did we just die? How? Okay, can someone please explain to me how we just died? But we just like did. Okay, we straight up just disintegrated. Uh, <laughs> what just happened to me? I mean. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I dead serious just disintegrated. Okay, whatever. I was trying to drop stuff I didn't need. For example, like this stuff. I don't need that. Or uh, what I could do. It's like a pop a carry weight booster. And I don't need, how much does this weigh? Dang, these things weigh eight pounds? Hey, get the heck out of my inventory. This weighs 12 pounds. I really don't need a night vision lever action rifle. I need this, I do. And I don't use grenades. This weighs 18, but I've been using it. It's very important. Except for we're still 91 pounds overweight. Don't explain. Because I don't know how we're 90 pounds overweight. We just... Oh, it's my food. It's my food. I'm carrying all this crap. Like gulper innards. Mega sloth meat. Myalurk meat. Mongrel dog meat. Fraw, uh, fog crawler meat. We need this, we need this, we need this. Except for it's pretty heavy though, but yeah, we wanna get rid of that. Definitely wanna get rid of all this. Stack weight? Yeah, no, don't need that. All right, yeah, we're only barely going over now. And then for the rest of it, we will just drink it up. Whatever's shooting at me, you just died. And then we're going to show you what we do with the rest of the loot, because... Also, if you ever see like an event, like a like any one of the big events, which I can just tell you a couple, um, you have uh, Scorched Earth, which is the one that we just did. That's going to be your the Scorched Beast Queen. You have a uh, Seismic Activity. That's going to be your Ultra Sight Titan. You also have um, it's like. Colossus something. That's going to be another one. Uh, I can't remember if there's another one. I think it's just those three. But. A line short barrel. Muzzle break. Interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Nice. Yeah, nothing I can do. And then there's like one more thing that we should do. Um, hello, level 14. Anyway, actually, you know what? I'm probably just going to end it off right here. Uh, because, I mean, yeah, that's 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 the whole video or the whole live stream. 
Um, so, I mean, just tell me... I'm, I'm probably going to do the... Um, the top 10 best weapons to use in Fallout 76, and then the top 10 best tips for new beginners in Fallout 76. So one's going to cater towards anyone, the other one's going to cater towards specifically new players trying out Fallout 76 within the level 1 to 50 range. Between that range. So, um... Just go ahead and open up this perk pack real quick while I talk to you about that. Um, so, definitely uh, stay tuned. Those are not going to be live streams. Those are going to be actual edited videos. So you guys can check that out. Um, super excited to make those videos. Um, hope you guys are actually going to enjoy them. Um, I definitely think that they are... Uh, very important tips there's a lot of very important things that you need to do when you uh when you play fallout 76 and of course one of them being uh every point of strength adds plus four damage resistance max no power armor honestly we can just remove barbarian since that's just ridiculous no power armor we're just tweaking around a couple of our settings and stuff, so. Okay, yeah. And we're gonna head in, check one into perception. And we're gonna go on ahead and concentrate a fire. You have no other copies of those cards. Creating a higher rank will remove it from all loadouts. Do you wish to continue? I think all I did was waste the perk. I should have just went ahead and did it, so... Oh, so, yeah, okay, yeah, so now I have the copy of it, yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, anyway, of course, I'm gonna be making, uh, those new videos, so stay tuned for those, um... But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you uh, show you guys how to do the uh, just a quick and easy little event. Of course, you're gonna have to do the enclave and get to general rank, and of course, you're also going to have to be level 50 uh, and above to even do this. So um, definitely some stuff that you have to make sure if you're wanting to do it. You're, uh, if you, you have to do the Enclave, so you have to go to the Abandoned Waste Dump, which is right here on the map. It is the, right here, it's the little icon. And uh, the Enclave Bunker is right here. This is the White Spring. This is the White Spring Bunker. This is the service entrance. Here is the bunker. So, yeah, definitely always make sure you check out the White Spring. Super important stuff always there. It's the mall, super helpful. Always go there. Uh, but, yeah, you're going to have to make sure you do all those missions. And then, of course, you don't have to do the decoding. You can just go to NukaCrypt.com to find out the codes for the nuclear launch. You can find that out whenever I talk about that, whenever I am launching the nuke. And then, of course... If you want to do the Scorched Earth like I did, just make sure you drop it right on top of the Fissure Site Prime. But you have to have the location on your minimap so you can, like, fast travel to it. So if you don't do that, then you're not going to be able to start the, the actual mission itself. So make sure uh, you remember that. And, uh, yeah, but uh, stay tuned for the top 10 best weapons in all of Fallout 76 and the top 10 best tips for beginners uh catch you later